Hey guys, welcome back. All right, so it's been a while. Um, I got sick last week, so that's why this one took a little bit longer. Um, so we're continuing on with our Neon Vector tutorial. Um, and today we're going to be adding uh, sound and music to the game, which really adds uh, a, makes the game a lot more fun. So um, what uh, what we're on is if you if you this is like episode seven now. So if you, if, if you found this video somehow without seeing episode one. Uh, I'll link it up up now, so upstairs now. Uh, but yeah, we're in the second part of the new Invector tutorial, and right at the bottom, somewhere around here now, in the sound and music section over here. This tutorial is also linked in the description if you want to just check this one out. Um, all right, so it's actually a pretty quick and easy one today. Um, so all we're doing is uh, basically playing, loading up sound, so creating this uh, little load function uh, in a new class called sound, um, which what it does is it just goes and loads all the sounds that exist um, for our explosions, shots, and spawns. Um, it uses some uh, pretty funny link, um, that library, that link library functionality in here. Uh, when we jump over to my code, we'll see that look, I haven't used that because it's hard for me to understand. So uh, to simplify it out a bit, I sort of made expanded it, made it a little bit longer. Um, but uh, yeah, so let's take a look at the code real quick in the new sound class. So in our GeoWar project here, uh, under my new sound class that I've created, so, um, yep, yeah, okay, so this class I've, uh, normally you use that get set thing. I've just sort of expanded this out to, uh, use the longhand version of get set. So, right here we're just creating a little storage spot for, uh, music. Uh, we're creating a little random object here because, uh, what we want to do is play random sounds. Uh, so when there's an explosion, uh, let's say so when there's an explosion we run we go and get the explosion sound right um, when an enemy dies and <clears throat> we return it by pulling out one of the random explosion sounds from this explosions list so you look at this explosions list uh, what we will do is just have a list that stores all of the explosion sounds together and then uh, when it's time to go and grab an explosion sound uh, we go to that list, uh, generate a random number of length 8, which is the number of explosion sounds that we have um, available to us and load in the explosions list and just return that sound. So um, the way you play a sound in uh, X and A, so I'll just have a look at this enemy class over here. And if we look at was shot, uh, where's was shot? Here you go, was shot. So basically when an enemy gets shot, when it dies basically, um, this is the code that runs, right? If you remember from the previous tutorials. And this is the bit uh, that plays the explosion sound. So it's just sound, so the sound class dot explosion property, which is the explosion property right here, uh, dot play. And that's that's as, that's all you have to do to play a sound in XNA. So when we run the, we get the explosion, it goes and uh, grabs a random explosion from this explosions list, which we'll go through in a second how that gets loaded. Um, and then it just plays that sound. And then we've got a little bit of funny stuff inside there. So uh, this is the, um, so this is the volume, I think, that it gets played at. And this is the pitch, so you can change the pitch, right? And we've got this random next float here uh, to sort of change the pitch randomly on the sound, just to give it a little, little bit more variety uh, with all the explosion sounds. And then zero, so this is, this is a um, pan, I'm not really sure what that is, but anyway, we're not using it basically, so we're just saying that pan to zero. Um, and uh, yeah, that's it. So let's have a look back at the, so that's how we play sounds, right? Um, and we do the same thing, so we have this, to, to play a shot, we have a list of shot sounds stored inside this sound effect list, um, and then we play a random shot, same with spawn, so a list of spawn sounds uh, that we store inside that sound effect list, and then when it comes to play it, it's just sound.spawn.play, and that's it, it goes and plays that random sound. 
And here is how we populate all of that. So our sound class has a load method inside of it. Um, and we uh, go ahead and load uh, all the sound effects uh, through this method when we look at the, the, the main game root constructor. So if you go game root, uh, we run that sound.load right here. And we need to give it the instance.content to give it the content manager of the game root class uh, so that we can go ahead and add all the sound in. So if you jump in here, uh, the first thing we're doing is loading the music. So what you want to do um, is go ahead and open up your content uh, project and create a new sound folder. So it's just right click add new folder and then inside the sound folder you want to go uh, right click on that add and then add existing item and you will have all of these uh, sounds um, available to you in that link uh, where, you, where you got your art from from in the tutorial. I'll put a link to all these resources down the bottom as well or you can just clone the github um, and I've got all the resources in a, a little assets folder for you to go and grab. Um, so you go add uh, existing item and you go and select, so if you if you download my projects in the GitHub link uh, down below, you will have this little assets folder. And this isn't actually really part of the project, it's just all of the resources like the art and the sound and the music um, and uh, all, that, all, all that other stuff, shaders as well. We haven't got into the shaders yet, but uh, shaders, so and the font. Um, you jump in there, you can just add all of these waves and the music on mp3 file. Um, and then run the build, so make sure you put it in your sound folder, run the build, and it'll just build everything. Um, you should be all good to go there. And once it's built into your content project, um, all you have to do is uh, call it like this, to load it like this. So music equals content, so the content object that we pass into this load function, um, and then load sound, sound music. Um, so that, that one's easy. Uh, this one is where, so we, up the top here, we've got this explosions list defined. Um, so what we're doing here is just for int i number of explosion sounds. So number of explosion sounds, we've got eight explosion sounds. We go and add those to the uh, explosions array, just like this, explosions i, so zero, the, the first item in the array. We go and add this sound effect into it and we just go through and add all of the explosion sound effects straight into it and, and we load it at the same time. Um, and then we do the same thing with shots and sports and that's, yeah, that's, that's pretty much it. <laughs> so um, once that's all loaded up, um, there's a few gotchas that you want to look out for and I've got it in my notes somewhere over here. Give me one second while I load them up. Uh, mostly they were just to do with um, little errors where we had to put in a using audio content or media inside uh, all the bits where we were playing a sound or playing some music. Um, okay, so need to add the libraries. Yeah, so uh, you need to add these in. That's not in the tutorial, um, but yeah, make sure you add these in, otherwise you'll get little squiggly lines next to your sound effects. Uh, object types. Uh, what else we got? Call sound. All right, yeah. So also in your game root here, you need to add this guy in, and that is for your music. So when you jump over to here, in your initialize, this is where you want to set your music to start playing. <coughs> So that's right here, so in, under initialize straight away we set media player is repeating to true so the music keeps looping and uh, we've got media player to play and then it's just sound of music um, from inside your sound uh, class here. Um, yeah, so that's it. So let's uh, give it a quick run, hey, and we'll see how we go. This is what it looks like. Um, also, I ran this on my Xbox. Um, if you want to see how to set up your Xbox, Put the link up uh, up now, uh, but uh, yeah. So all the the sound contents all working on the Xbox as well. I'll just run it on local machine here. So you see, I'll just give that a run. 
right, here we go. <laughs> Hear the explosion sounds and the bullet sounds all make like slightly different sounds every time it gets shot. Now we might need to adjust speeds and a couple of little gameplay elements like how quickly the difficulty ramps up. Uh, maybe you want to get more spawns happening. You might want to add in a few more enemies. I don't know, uh, but I mean it, it's pretty cool. I think. We're going to add bloom in the next episode, which will give it a real cool effect. And I think um, I'm also going to put in explosions and stuff like that to jazz up the feel a little bit. But basically, the game is uh, made now. It's like it's, it's all all the mechanics are all in place. It's it, all, all it's going to take is to add in maybe a little bit more content to it, like more enemies and that sort of stuff. But, yeah. What do you think of that? That's pretty cool, right? <laughs> um, all right, so uh, yeah, I'll put all the links in the description. Uh, this has been a short one today, just adding in the sound, so hopefully it's very easy to understand. And I will see you guys next time. Cheers.